Well, imagine this. A young man shuts down a diamond store in New York City to show his girlfriend engagement rings. Sounds romantic, doesn't it? Only he never proposed. This is just one of the many misadventures of Mandy Hale. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a land far away, there was a princess who lived happily. This is not that kind of fairy tale. Mandy Hale is affectionately known as the single woman. She tweets dating advice to over 500,000 Twitter followers around the world. In her book, I've Never Been to Vegas, But My Luggage Has, Mandy shares heart-to-heart -heart stories from her own life. Her insights will help you discover that your happily ever after may be closer than you think. Well, please welcome back to the 700 Club, my good friend and author of I've Never Been to Vegas, But My Luggage Has, Mandy Hale. So great to see you. So good to see you. Of course, I've read the book, so I know the yes. answer. But first of all, how did your luggage end up in Vegas, but you didn't? Well, it's kind of a funny story. I'm not going to give away the whole tale right now. I'll let people know that it's in the first chapter of the book. Spoiler alert. So you don't have to wait too long to find out. Right. But it's just a good example of how, you know, you rarely end up where you think you're going to go, but you always end up where you're meant to be. Now, you had um, suffered from panic attacks, and you had a panic attack on that flight that was supposed to go to Vegas. Yeah. How did you overcome that and the depression that, mm -hmm. that followed when, when you lost your job? I'm actually still working on the anxiety thing, so the fact that I'm here right now, thank you God, is, is just proof of, of his strength and my weakness. Um, the depression, I overcame that by the grace of God. I have a really wonderful family who I know is watching very proudly right now, and also just crying out to God and just realizing that when we get down to absolutely nothing, just looking up and realizing that he is our everything, he just absolutely delivered me from it. Just, just a lot of prayer and a wonderful family and support system. Now, looking at you, people would say, how can she be depressed? She's, uh, she's got it all together. She's beautiful. She's got two new books out. Um, how, do, how, did you, how do you think depression um, manifested in your life? I think, well, this was about a decade ago, and I think I had really, you know, I was in my dream job, and, and honestly, I was really putting my, my, my faith in, in my surroundings and very material things like my job and my status and the things that I was doing. And I had, I had really turned away from God. So honestly, I think when we put our, you know, when we put our energy and our stock in anything other than God, it, it, it's a very slippery slope. And that's the place that I found myself in. But yeah. he is a good God and he brought me through it. Well, today, Mandy, half a million people follow your dating advice on Twitter, which is phenomenal. Yes. But tell us about Mr. E, who you, you write about, and the one that took you to the diamond store and yes. showed you all these incredible engagement rings, but yeah. never proposed. What happened? Well, he is one of those, as I'm sure a lot of ladies can attest to, very on again, off again, literally for seven years. And at that time, he told me he wanted to see how it felt to, for us to try on engagement, you know, for me to try on engagement rings. And, and, you know, and then it ended up not turning into a proposal. So it was kind of like, I was like, wow, you, it's like you handed me a beautifully wrapped box with nothing in it. Oh so I wanted was, to see how it felt. Yes. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, you were also in a, an abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. Tell us what happened there. Again, it was one of those seasons of life where, you know, I had wandered off the path of where I belonged. And as you know, as, as many of us know, when we do that, we encounter people who don't belong in our lives. And that's what happened in that situation. And again, it was another one of those times in life where I had to absolutely hit rock bottom mm. before I realized that I didn't need to be putting my security in that relationship, but in God. And, but it did actually inspire the single woman. So, you know, like God does, he turned something broken into something beautiful. So I have no regrets. Well, did you notice any red flags before you got into these wrong relationships um, that yeah. possibly that you ignored? Well, let's just say Mr. E actually stood me up for our first date seven years ago. Wow. So that is not just a red, that's like a, a red flag the size of your dress. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, and I also think just like gut and female intuition is real, ladies. Listen to your gut. It never steers you wrong. And yeah, I should have pay, probably paid attention to the, the, stood, the being stood up, but I did not and I forged ahead and here we are seven yeah. years later. <laughs> Those red flags are so big and so red in yes. retrospect, oh, aren't they? Yes, hindsight is twenty twenty. But at the time you're, you 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 know, you just sit, tell yourself you're nuts and exactly. you, go, you go for it. Exactly. Well how did you become known as the single 
woman? Completely by accident. Well, I won't say accident. I think it was always the plan. But um, I wanted to be the single lady. I had started the blog. I had this idea I'm going to be the single lady. Well, that name was already taken on Twitter. You know, just really wanted to encourage and inspire other single women in their journey. So I chose the name The Single Woman, and it was available. And about a month later, I came out in the parking garage and noticed, completely by coincidence, the first three letters of my license plate were TSW as in the single woman single and so woman. it's just such a great little reminder like a god wink mm. that he knows who we are long before we ever figure it out well what would you just say what would you say to women who are watching and they're just longing to be in a relationship and ultimately marriage i would say keep the faith i know it can be so such, the dating world is no joke single life is is not for the faint of heart but i would just say keep the faith because god has a plan trust in his timing you don't want that person to come before you're ready for him and in the meantime just work on becoming the best woman you can be and then you'll attract the best possible mate and right now i know because i have a new book out this yes. is a very exciting time for you as you're on a book tour yeah all over the country mm -hmm. In a bus, right? In an RV, <laughs> yes. It's called the SAS Class and Compassion Tour. Uh, my dear friend, Christian recording artist Jamie Jamgosian, and I are going to be touring the country, doing um, live events and encouraging and inspiring women. And we actually closed the tour at Lakewood in oh, wow. April. And every, if you want to check out our tour date, sasclasscompassion.com. Okay. Well, Mandy, it's so great to see you. And your book is terrific. I've Thank never you. been to Vegas, but my <laughs> luggage has. And it's available wherever books are sold. Mandy, God. God bless you and thanks for your inspiration. Thank you so much. My